it's 9 p.m. in the evening. I've been indoors all day. It's a Friday, and my friends want us to go out. Even though I'm very tired from the DC trip, I still have to go out because I have to let you see the night life in New Jersey. So let's go nowhere. I don't know where we are going, but we're going somewhere. <laughs> let's just go and then let's see what the night life in Jersey looks like. Already yawning. Is this gonna work? So we just got to our location. It's um super chart. I don't know what is going to happen over here. Let's get inside to see what is that super charged so i'm still in new jersey um tomorrow i'll be going to new york and uh i'll be touring the nyc again um, but tonight it's all about supercharged so let's go to supercharged and get charged All right, so that was the race, and um, that was for supercharged. We are going home, and if possible, we'll go to the next destination. It's a brand new morning. And it's a Saturday here in New Jersey and today we have the conference you know for the past three days we've missed all the conference but today we want to attend so we are heading straight to New York City or we'll, we'll visit Times Square but before then we'll would have to go to the conference take some pictures listen to what they have for us and then the city tour will continue yeah we would also have to contribute to the to the to the discourse because that's the main reason why we are here all right guys so we just got to the metachen train station and um, 
be able to catch our train to New York Penn Station. When we get to Penn Station, we will figure out where the conference venue is and then we'll go straight to the place. Alright, so the train is here and I believe some people will be disembarking for others um, to join. So let's go inside. This is how the train looks like. I don't want to go very far. I think sitting here will be, will be just okay for me. So this is where we'll be sitting in the train. And then we activate uh, our ticket on the NJ Transit app. Brother, how is it going? Oh, so far so good. I see you. Traveling on carpets as always in the best. And I always enjoy traveling to you know, experience everything that you need as a traveler. So it's absolutely fantastic. That's what I've seen now. Alright, so we'll be on our way to New York City. When we get to New York City, we'll let you know what's happening, what's popping. Alright guys, so we are arriving, we are arriving Penn Station right now, let me change. We are arriving Penn Station yeah. and then we are going to find our way into the city so we can um, locate our next destination. Alright, so because we want to see the city instead of using the subway or the train we are going to walk through town so let's let's find an exit let's find an exit and then we can we can start walking attention please Guys, even though we are late for the conference, we we'll still want to put something in our belly before um, we we go in there. So this this is um, an eatery. It's a breakfast and lunch restaurant. I I don't even know what the name is, but let's go in there and let's see if we can get something to eat. All right, so we are done with breakfast, and we are heading straight to the conference venue. Yes, and it's about two hours late to the conference, but you know when you get to the city, you just you just fall in love with the city, and then decide that the conference is in three sections: morning, afternoon, and evening. So even though we are late, we have not missed anything. Yes, everything will be replicated in the afternoon or evening. So it's a choice depending on the one that. You want to participate? Okay, so I mean, we're not we're not even late. Yes. You're still going to participate in the conference. Sorry. So let's let's go, let's go, let's go. We are in New York, New York, New York. Don't forget to like, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Very if you've important. been to New York before, please drop in the comment section. Let me know where you went and how was your feeling and experience.
really understanding the impact that trauma has, both social emotionally and physically. <clears throat> so trauma, trauma has a lot of different components to it. It's not just a single event, although it could be. And then when you look at trauma, and well, that may be traumatic to you, it may not be to someone else. This is all dependent on the individual's experience, whether they witnessed it or experienced that event, that's the impact that, that they experience from that. As you can see, trauma has a lot of uh, tentacles, like an octopus. And so we're just gonna focus on the generalities of it so you can understand exactly when you witness trauma or you know trauma or that kind of thing that you know how it looks like and what to do to address it and how to, if you have trauma, and then what we did together. If you guys have any questions. I just want to share an experience. So about a year ago, I was driving in um, Toronto and we're in the traffic and someone drove into my trunk. I mean, smashed my trunk. Mm -hmm. And I was very furious and then it really affected me mentally. So anytime I'm driving in town and I see in my rear mirror that a car is coming behind me, I sometimes get frightened because yeah. yeah. I feel like, is it the next accident? And it's like I try to manage it, but it looks like um, if I want to take my mind off it, then I have to look straight. Mm -hmm. Anytime I look in my rear mirror and I see a car coming, I, I get frightened right. behind the steering. Because you saw him coming. Yeah. Right? Did and you then see he, when he hit you? Yeah, I saw him hitting me. Exactly. Like, yeah. So everything's gonna look like that. So Every I like time. the fact that you said changing where you're looking, change yeah. the image that you're seeing. And if I could suggest also, take three slow deep breaths. And as you, as you exhale, let that anxiety exhale with it. And you actually, and if you could say to yourself, I'm safe, I'm okay. Because then you're incorporating not only that feeling and the release of that, but reprogramming the brain that you're in a safe spot and you're okay. Because yes, that incident did occur and it, a lot of things look similar. There's a lot of blue tennis shoes, but it's the one that you, were, you put your foot in that kind of hurt, that made it feel bad. There's a lot of similar situations like the trucks that are on the freeway and, and you know the accident. So there's several corners that are similar. But the more we separate those and recognize that that was a single incident, that was an event, it could happen again. And it's how we navigate and deal with it at the time and then after is what minimizes that long-term effect. On it. Thank you guys for being here. Can we have some photos for you guys? Oh, yes, please. Please, thank you. 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 Alright guys, so we are done with the conference. Um, it was very inspiring and educative. We are still in New York, so don't forget to stick by this channel. I'm going to bring you the best of New York in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.